Ivan? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Right, so let's begin today's session. Yeah. So back and next straight, gently close the eyes. And start observing your breath. Just watch the natural flow of your breath. And make sure that your body is completely relaxed. Take a few moments to scan the body. Once you relax the body completely, come back to your breath. And naturally go into the process of Puraka and Rechaka. There should be no effort and your breath should be slow, long and deep. Preparing the mind for chanting three times, followed by three shantis. Relax the mind. And inhale deeply for Om. Join both the palms together in front of the chest <coughs> and put the palms together. Place them on the eyes. Very slowly, I'll drink it and looking at the palms, open up the eyes. Namaste to everyone. So let's 
in today's session yeah so yesterday we did one stage of nadi shodhan right where we were actually just preparing for the practice of nadi shodhan and uh, you know we practiced breathing through the breathing in and out through the same nostril first normally and then we tried to control it a little right so this is one of the ways in which you can actually you know make sure both the nostrils are unblocked and even if they are blocked you can do this before going into the practice of you know anulom vilom or nadi shodhan right and uh, it will uh, breath is uh, consistent and there is no blockage when you do this practice first right so today we are going into the second stage this is called anulom vilom like i told you yesterday also nadi shodhana and anulom vilom are just slightly different practices the only difference is that one is continuous and in nadi shodhana you add you know retention the practice of kumbhak as well so today we are going to practice uh, nadi shodhana right so the let's start from the very basic uh, technique so um on posture so in posture you can write down uh, always you have to be in a sitting posture where the back and neck is going to remain straight so the posture is very important from now onwards earlier we used to be to have done the pre but from this practice we are going to start with the shoulders the spine needs to be straight and the body needs to be go into this practice once again take a while to you know center yourself before it or you can add abdominal breathing or like we did the pre practice yesterday you can go ahead and do that okay so adding something before it is generally beneficial so that by the time you know you reach the practice of anulom vilom the mind the body is already calm right which will help you in your practice immensely okay and another thing so we is the mudra explain both mudra you and the so mudra will remain the same this is a very way to come in handy for so this is going to be the posture of the hand gesture of the hand right so either go for pranav or vishnu mudra or you can uh, like uh, with the right hand and with the left hand adopt chin mudra that is considered to be the best combination these two okay uh, ma'am so then yeah ma'am today is my first session yeah okay your voice is also breaking or okay. hello hello now i can hear you can you yeah can you hear me yeah now i can hear you okay yeah so i was ask no i was again. asking uh, first class of pranayama first class of pranayama yes all right okay so Oh, see, uh, you will have to watch the previous classes, like okay. before. You can, uh, like, like today's class. Some terms will be used, which, uh, which I have been explained in the previous classes. So okay. no worries. 
I will tell you the hand position. I will switch on the camera and tell you everything. Everything you need to know about today's class, so you will miss out on nothing. Okay, but watch the okay. previous classes after this before joining tomorrow's practice. It will help you. Okay. Don't worry. I will cover everything. Okay. Okay. So. So. Uh, oh, no practice. Right. So for most, make sure that the, you know, uh, yeah, uh, you cannot see me because I have switched off my camera. My camera is off right now because connection is not very stable. Right. So I'll turn it on when I'm telling you, like showing you the hand position and the demonstrating the technique. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I was coming to the contraindication. So when one practices anulom vilom, like uh, of course the nostrils need to be, you know, uh, uh, open. They should not be blocked. One thing is this that we have discussed already. Second uh, important thing is when you practice anulom vilom, you basically what you do is you uh, cut off from everything and you go deep, you go within. So people who experience depression, even though it is a very good practice for them. Uh, however, uh, when you make them practice anulom vilom, initially do not give them a lot of rounds. Okay, so suppose uh, for a beginner, uh, anywhere between 5 to 10 rounds are good. Do not give them more than that. Because this is, of course, a very beneficial practice for them. But, uh, you know, the mind has a tendency to get very introverted during this stage. So somebody is undergoing long sessions with unloom below, right? And, uh, you know, take special care if some heart patient is coming to you for this practice. So it's okay. Unloom below is okay for heart heart patients however uh, you just have to make sure that they do not retain at any point of stage uh, any point of time during the practice so sometimes what happens is this will especially happen sound is breaking can't hear if you add counting in your prank count. wait 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 Can you guys hear me? You hit cut out for a little bit. Okay, let me see what I can do. Give me a minute. But it's good now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please let me know if the voice starts breaking again. I hope it doesn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was actually telling you the contraindications for the practice. So who cannot practice? Okay. Uh, so anybody who is like, you know, if the nostril is blocked, this we discussed yesterday also. If the nostrils are blocked, then again, go for that free practice or uh, go do jal neti, uh, uh, shat karma, which cleanses the nasal uh, passage, right? So you can go ahead and do those things. So one thing is this, that if the nostrils are blocked due to cough, cold, fever, these conditions, do not go for practice of anulom vilom. Uh, another thing that I was discussing was, uh, you know, uh, people who are depressed. So it is anulom vilom, even though it is a great practice for people who are undergoing depression, uh, you should not introduce a lot of rounds to them. So for a beginner, five to 10 rounds are good enough, like for their practice. So when you're dealing with someone who has depression, uh, do not introduce like a lot of rounds suddenly. Anywhere between five to 10 rounds is good for them because the practice of Hanulom Vilom, uh, again, you know, you close your eyes, you go into a lot of introversion during this time. So for people who have depression, you know, the thoughts uh, sometimes begin to overwhelm them a lot, right? So be careful if you are dealing with someone, especially with severe level of depression. So check the level of depression, check their uh, symptoms and, you know, previous reports. And then according to your understanding, then carefully introduce this practice, right? So do not immediately ask them to many rounds, okay? But it is quite helpful even during depression. So it is a good practice for people who are undergoing depression, right? Again, okay. heart disease. Next thing was heart disease. So somebody who has uh, any sort of heart disease, be very careful. Why? Because, you know, in Nadi Shodhana, uh, Heart disease patients cannot do it, right? Tomorrow I will introduce that technique. So they cannot do that one. But even in this one, sometimes what happens is people end up retaining the breath. And this you will see happen very commonly, especially when you count along with your pranayam practice. So nowadays what is going on is people, you know, count, inhale, then one, two, three, four, five, and then they say exhale, one, two, three, four, five. You must have seen a lot of people. And even if you haven't seen, there are a lot of people who are introducing pranayama with counting these days. And that can actually, uh, you know, be very harmful. Why? Because, uh, you know, uh, especially because I'm talking about heart patients, so they do not have to retain their breath. So if you introduce this practice to them with counting, what will happen is suppose their breath is only three cells. You count till three and they are able to inhale only that much. So they will end up retaining their breath for those two counts that you will you know, take after that. So that is quite harmful for them. So they have to go according to their pace. Everyone has to go according to their pace, but make sure, especially people with heart conditions, you know, they do not exceed their capacity. And when you introduce unloom below, go according to their pace rather than introducing a uniform pace in the class, right? So never introduce any pranayam or pre-practice of pranayam along with counts because that will shift the attention from the breath to the count. You can only concentrate on one object at a time. You can only concentrate at one task at a particular point of time. So the attention will automatically get divided if you are, you know, counting and you are uh, asking them to uh, check the breath. So they won't be able to do it that efficiently, right? So be very careful uh, with heart patients. So these are your contraindications, people uh, uh, to whom if you introduce the practice, either you do not introduce the practice or you become very careful while introducing this practice.
all right so let's discuss a few benefits then i will move on uh, to the technique and show you the exact technique then we will uh, practice the technique right so uh, let's come to the benefits so anulom vilom uh, is a very beneficial practice on a physical level you know because both the nostrils are being used uh, and alternatively when we switch the nostrils there is a balance between both the hemispheres of the brain right because both the nostrils are being used alternatively so it leads to alternate activation of the nostrils right so both the hemispheres of the brain get activated so it is an amazing uh, uh, practice to activate and balance so more more important thing is the balance that you will uh, acquire after this practice between both the hemispheres of the brain right that's quite necessary and like quite beneficial like when we do it on a physical level you know the uh, overall your nervous system uh, shoots down with this practice it is a great practice for people who uh, you know suffer from anxiety so if somebody is suffering from anxiety uh, introducing this practice will be very beneficial for them same goes for actually any mental disorder like uh, apart from the ones which you know really take you into introversion apart from those that mostly depression apart from that it is great for any uh, mental disorder as well somebody who is dealing with too much stress benefits greatly from the practice of anulom vilom it also induces a lot of uh, peace and calmness in the mind right because there is some stability that you establish when you practice this uh, uh you know uh pre practice of pranayam again it cleanses the nadi so there is proper movement of energy in the body so of course it is actually impacting your entire body when there is no blockage in the nadis then there is going to be no disease right because then there is blockage of energy in a particular area that shows up as a physical disease in the body so if there you are removing all the blockages from the nadis nadis are subtle energy channels in the body so when you uh, breathe uh, in this manner you release the blockages and when you do so there is going to be no disease not, nothing of that uh, sort manifesting and proper functioning of all the organs will take place so i like you know showed you uh, the uh, you know when i not showed you i told you the uh, function of each prana for uh, the body parts like i divided uh, like the place of the location of each prana when we discussed the five pranas that are present in the body so overall proper functioning of the body and again it prepares you for pranayam and if you go into pro uh, a proper practice you can even achieve the entire goal of pranayam through this practice only okay so uh i think uh, i can just like demonstrate the practice to you now okay 
Okay. So the hand position, like I was saying, for the left hand, you will join the tip of the index finger and tip of the uh, thumb together so that this O shape is formed. Do not do this. Join the tips, right? And then press three fingers are going to be together and straight and palm facing upward. This is how you're going to place the, uh, you know, uh, place your hand on one of the knees. When you sit in any comfortable posture, left hand is going to take this position. Right? Yeah, join the tips and keep the rest of the three fingers together. Yeah, great. Okay. Then second hand, like the Pranav Mudra. Pranav Mudra is when you fold the first two fingers and place them on the base of the thumb so that your thumb and your ring finger and little finger, these remain uh, free for you to, you know, open and close the nostril. So this you form only with the right hand. Tomorrow, I, uh, yesterday, I explained all of this. You can watch yesterday's video as well to gain a better understanding. But for now, I just... Uh, I'm going to just directly say this that right hand has to be used, right? And you're going to close the right nostril with the thumb and left nostril with the, you know, uh, ring finger and little finger. So, like this, like this. Once again, very gently open and close the nostrils. Do not press the nose too much. Okay. Same thing. Uh, another mudra with the right hand, you can. Place the first two fingers on your eyebrow center, right? Just over here. And then once again, same three fingers are going to be free for you to open and close the nostrils. So you can either use the uh, ring finger or you can use both the ring and little finger to open and close the nostril. Okay. So this is how you do this pranayam. This is your Vishnu Mudra. And we always begin this practice by inhaling through the left nostril. So it doesn't matter which nostril is active. You are always going to close the right nostril. Begin and to inhale with the left nostril. Okay, so you inhale through the left. Once you have inhaled, you are going to close the left nostril and open the right nostril and exhale. Once you completely exhale, begin to inhale through the right nostril. And then close the right nostril, exhale through the left nostril. This is one round. Okay. So I will repeat this again. Inhale through left. Always begin through left. And you, because you always begin through left, this practice always closes with the exhalation through the left nostril. Okay? So you inhale through the left, exhale through the right. Okay? Then you inhale again through the right and exhale through the left. This is one round. And you can introduce anywhere between 5 to 10 rounds, like for a beginner and even for somebody, somebody who is undergoing depression. Any doubts in the technique? Can you tell is, us why it's not? Is it deep breath or regular breath or small breaths? Yeah. So first let me answer this one. So breathing is going to be uh, like uh, as much as you are comfortable. Okay? okay. So do not force your breath. So sometimes you, you will see a lot of people, you know, they there's a sound. So then body also moves. And okay. then they... So this is wrong. Okay. okay. Why? Because the body, when the body, the bo there has to be no movement in the body. The body has to be stable when you're going for this practice, right? So, and the sound indicates that you're putting in effort to breathe. So when you put in the effort to breathe, that is when it causes a lot of, like you're not going with the natural flow of the breath. So our actually task is to make our breath Slow, long, and deep. 
and in that you know go deeper in that so if we uh, exert a lot of force that doesn't mean you're gaining control right but if you're able to work on the breath as it is so natural state of being is actually a slow long and deep so you go with the natural pace of the breath and then you try to work with that elongate that breath right wait let me go to the chat box okay so i am telling you the technique i will see wherever you learn this thing you start with right ask them their source it's very important that you know the source of the practice okay so the practice that i am introducing it is one of the stages of uh, nadi shodhana and when you read about nadi shodhana in hatya pradipika you will see tomorrow i will explain that technique so it starts with left nostril then exhale through right then inhale through right exhale through left so this is actually a very vari slight variation of that practice as i told you in anulom vilom we do not go so original practice that is given is inhalation then retention then exhalation through right then again inhalation through right and retention and then exhalation through left so in the original practice only internal retention has been talked of right so when you read that text it starts with the left nostril so whoever taught you starting with the right nostril go and ask them their source if they have a proper source behind it then it is all right i told you a lot of variations exist but i'm telling you the technique given in hatya pradipika so that is my like basis like from where i am introducing these practices right and there is another a uh, book called asan pranayam mudra band right and in that they have broken this practice down in multiple stages so there are multiple books on pranayam multiple books on uh, you know all of these practices so ask them the source then get back to me then i will be able to you know uh, Uh, let me know what source it is then i will be able to tell you how authentic the source is okay did i get your doubt like was i able to clarify all right i will take that as a yes so ask the source and get back to me right so yeah so uh let's begin our practice for today right so back and neck straight we are first going to you know practice yesterday's technique only where we are inhaling and exhaling from one nostril then the other one right so we are going to close one nostril we are going to inhale exhale through the left then again we are going to close the left nostril inhale exhale through the right yeah and after that we are going to again do five breaths in controlled manner so again first we were just working with the natural flow of the breath this time we are going to go for deeper breaths gain more control on our breath right five five breaths each side again and then we are going to practice anulom vilom five rounds right so let's see from one practice to the other how you get prepared to enter into anulom vilom which is our second stage now right so uh, i think we can begin the practice so back and next stretch gently close the eyes start of using the breath and be in your posture make sure your back and neck is straight eyes are very softly closed there is no pressure on the eyes face is completely relaxed
and just be with your breath. Begin to deepen the breath. And slowly, you know, form the Pranav or Vishnu Mudra with the right hand. Left hand placed on your knee in Chin Mudra. Exhale completely. Right, and then close your right nostril. Once you close the right nostril, this normal breath as it is, start inhaling and exhaling to the left nostril. To complete the five breaths, close the left nostril, open the right nostril, and go for normal breathing only. Slowly bring your hand down once you finish five breaths from the left nostril, oh, sorry, right nostril. Just observe your breathing. Again, form the Pranav Mudra or Vishnu Mudra with the right hand. And again, close the left nostril. And this time, we are going to go for slow, long and deep breaths. Make sure that your inhalation and exhalation is equal. Close the left nostril once you complete. Open the right nostril and go for deep breaths. And then to complete the practice, bring your hand down. Relax your hand and just observe your breath. How do you feel after this practice? Just keep observing this thing.
मैम माय राइट नोस्टल इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज हाफ क्लोज वाइट इज लग गया ओके Once again, back next straight. One question, please. You know, when you said uh, a deep breath, do we need to continue taking the deep breath from the right side? Ah, uh, see, first we do one side, right? Deep And breath. We, yeah, deep okay. breath. And after that, just observe your normal breath. Like after you finish the practice, just observe how your breath is. Okay. So let's get ready for the practice of Anulom Bilom. We are going to go for five rounds. Everybody, go at your own pace. Take your own time to complete these five rounds. Okay. So let's form one last time the Pranayam Mudra with the right hand. close the right nostril and begin to inhale through the left nostril once you have inhale close the left nostril exhale through the right nostril again inhale through the right nostril Up there, exhale through the left nostril. This is one down. Go for four more rounds. Just try to make each inhalation and exhalation equal when you do so. And try to make your breath as effortless as possible. When you complete your five rounds, suspend the practice. Back and neck will be straight. Just observe how you feel.
when you feel ready join both the palms together and drop them together and then you place them on the eyes whenever you finish observe and feel ready you can take your time to come back and slowly open the eyes Right. So if you have come out of the practice and opened up the eyes, so now I can address all your doubts. Right. So just feel free to unmute yourself and right. ask whatever is on your mind. About the blockage of that one nostril. Is one I am not able to understand this thing. So has one nostril been blocked, or is it that you did not feel the flow of the breath that freely through that nostril? What is like? I should could yeah. explain. Yeah, means if I take the breath from the left nostril, it's going. Means I can feel that is it's completely going properly, uh, without any obstacle in between. But if I try to breathe from right one, uh, it's like some part of there is it's going, but little bit it's not free, free flowing. Mm -hmm. And this happens uh, either yes. left or right every day. One of it is, it and will. I don't have yeah, and it I don't will. have. It will. I don't have any cold or cup or anything. Hmm. See, in your philosophy class also yesterday when we had philosophy class, I explained this thing. During the day, one nostril is going to be active and then that changes and another one becomes active and this happens approximately at a uh, you know, time difference of around one and a half hours. So after uh, uh, you know, one and a half hour, uh, the nostril switches. So sometimes you will see that the right one is more dominant, sometimes left one is more dominant. So the one which is dominant through that, the air will flow easily. And from the other one, maybe it's not such that, you know, it is completely suspended. So sometimes one is more dominant than the other one. So the other one is also functioning functioning and right now you are doing alternate nostril breathing so you become more aware of this thing so the other one which is not that dominant it will be a little bit harder to breathe through it it is totally normal and that is why we did that practice where we tried to you know first uh, uh, close one nostril and inhale exhale through the same nostril five times you did then the other side right so that is why we are actually doing that so that the nostrils get balanced out and this thing does not uh, uh, hamper your practice. So before doing the practice, we have to, you know, um, make sure that both the nostrils are balanced, right? So I told you uh, a lot of techniques. One, two practices we did today also. One thing is Jal Neti, right? It is one of your yeah. Shat Karma practices. So you can do that before sitting for this practice. But for that also, you will have to, you know, uh, um, uh, your stomach should be empty. So right now, uh, if it is the same time for you, like it's around four over here, if it, it is same time, maybe it is not possible. So when you practice in the morning, then what you can do is you can do gel neti and then go ahead and practice this. So you will see a difference. So there are different okay. ways of balancing the nostrils. You have to do that first and then this will be uh, easy for you. This is totally normal. It happens with all of us. Switching okay. off the nostril. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You know, is there any time where when we take breath to both nostrils at the same amount, does it happen like that? It happens yeah, like... When, mm -hmm. I what do, kind of... Yeah. 
philosophy class also yeah uh, in philosophy class also i told you uh, when the ida and pingla nadi these two nadis you know when there is a switch so after one and a half hours say your ida nadi was functioning so after one and a half hour pingla has to start functioning so this uh, slight uh, moment uh, before ida you know uh, becomes less dominant and pingla is beginning to become more dominant when that switch is taking place that is when both the nostrils work like naturally work equally okay okay yeah that happens yeah any doubts any other doubts related to the technique or you guys able to understand what we did today how the breathing is so you know in anilom vilom for a beginner uh, what kind of breath we should be taking like comfortable slow or comfortable be more uh, um, longer breath see uh, that is why uh, when you go to previous classes and you watch those so i have Uh, said this again and again so first you need to get established in the sectional breaths so we have three uh, sections in which we divide the breath sectional breathing so first you need to master each and every one of them that is when you will be able to reach yogic deep breathing which engages all three uh, breaths together right like uh, all three sections together in one breath so when you get established in yogic deep breathing then you come to this practice so it will take a lot of time for you to master each and every section when you breathe right so uh, currently you know if you're having breathing through the chest uh, chest breathing is difficult for you so you need to work on that right so you need to master each and every sectional breathing before you move to this deep practice so it will take a very Uh, like it is a step by step process but because everything is in your course we do not give it like that amount of time so each and every class your topic will be changing right and we will be discussing new topics however you need to when you go for a personal practice start from the very basic yeah and work step by step on each and every one of them so by the time if you have perfected ideally if you have perfected you will be breathing and this your breath will be very relaxed but still deep and long so if if somebody is teaching somebody so we have to go through the other ones and make them comfortable in that then introduce this one that's how exactly exactly yes yeah okay thank you because again and again i'm repeating this one more time like uh, you know pranayam practicing pranayam isn't a big deal but if your sectional breathing is not correct if you haven't gained con- uh, gained uh, control over your sectional breathing and how you have to breathe correctly pranayam will become very difficult for you if you gain proper control over these techniques then it will be very easy for you when because this this correcting the breath and Uh, gaining this uh, control over the breath is what is very necessary when you step into pranayama so it's just a different way of breathing right depending on what technique we are adopting so first okay. establish yourself in each and every one of them okay okay any other doubts all right so let's end today's session yeah we'll just uh, Uh, let me just close with Om Shanti because it's four five already. Then we have another class at five o'clock, so it will get uh five five will be here very soon. So uh, Om Shanti to everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow for your philosophy classes. Right? Thank you. So thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.